Um, I, I think it's uh, another version of Chase Burns. I mean, I think Chase is, is pretty dang advanced, but uh, Beam has stuff too that is advanced. And then it's very obvious or evident that he played quarterback in high school. He's kind of got that athleticism. He can feel this position. He has leadership skills to him. And um, to me, he's, he's not a guy that's going to get nervous. He may come into a situation where he doesn't get the job done, but it's not going to be because uh, the lights were a little too bright. So that's a pretty good combination for a freshman, and I'm glad we were able to do it. I think that's a first for Coach Anderson and I uh, to ever have two freshmen start an opening weekend on the mound. How feeling is it to kind of use Camden in the role similar you all used Sean last year? Uh, for me or him, he wants to start, you know. Um, but so does everybody else on the pitching staff. I think for now, you're just trying to um, get guys to gobble up innings or to manage innings because we don't have guys. We're usually pretty conservative at the beginning of the year. We don't have guys that are built up to throw seven, eight innings. So I think it's appealing to use Camden in any role. And he's shown that, whether it's close or just come in and get out of a jam, long relief, or, or obviously start as well, which he'll do that at some point this year too. Did you know Seth had as much pop? Does he show this weekend? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I think we did. Um, he's got a twitchy body, I guess you'd call it if you're a scout. Um, and he, he drove the ball out of the park in summer ball before he got to us, and then also in junior college baseball too. So he's a dynamic player. Um, he can play a lot of different positions. And right now we're just trying to move guys around, and every time we've given him a chance, um, he's locked in, and you can tell he likes to compete. Just as much competition as you guys have, how good is it this weekend to get some offside wins and get people a lot of different reps in the games? Well, you want to get guys their first go at it. It doesn't mean they're not going to do well. I mean, Drew Beam, that was his first go at it, and uh, I think he was about as good as he can be, uh, really, for three total innings. Um, but you'd like to give guys a, a crack at getting out there, getting comfortable, add some reps uh, to their belt, and then that way when you go to them, maybe in a situation that's in conference, uh, they feel like not only are they prepared in practice, but they've been prepared in a game. So more than anything, I, these guys have been working hard, man. And it's it's tough as a coach to put up the lineup, have red shirt questions. And that's what I was alluding to on Friday night's interview is this is a hard week on the coaches coming into this first game. And then when the game starts, it's fun for us, but it's not as fun for the guys if they're not getting out there to play. But we had a really good environment in the dugout, and I was glad we were able to reward a lot of guys who are into the game and cheering for their teammates. You got the offense going pretty early tonight. Um, any adjustment there, or just uh, swinging the ball, swinging the bat better? No, I, I think swinging the bat better. I mean, Johnson's a great arm, and it didn't look like he had his best stuff. I think uh, when he comes into his own, he's going to be a pretty special pitcher. Um, so, you know, maybe caught him at the right time. We're playing at home. I think our guys, they showed up to the park with probably the best mindset and energy they had all weekend, uh, maybe smelling blood here on a Sunday. So it was good to see them execute and a guy like Jordan Beck settle in and, and take some of his best swings. And I, I know I'm rambling, but I'd be remiss if I didn't say it too. I mean, we had our home crowd behind us. This was, the, I think, the biggest crowd of the weekend because it was the best weather. Um, I, I, I should have thanked earlier the, those people that came out on Friday. I, I was stunned. We talked about it as coaches. We expect to have good crowds here in our whole athletic department, but that was not exactly baseball weather on Friday night. It was more Packer weather, and yet we packed the stands here, so that was pretty cool. A lot of pitchers made their debut this weekend. Do you feel like you learned anything about your pitching staff? I, I think we've got, um, you know, it's pretty evident we've got arms to be envious of. I mean, there's guys with good stuff. Uh, it's just a matter of throwing strikes, and I thought Drew Beam, Beam, even on a couple of occasions where he didn't get a call, was around the plate the whole day. Um, Fitzy's got as repeatable of a delivery as anybody and has good stuff. So I see nothing but strikes for him. Um, you know, to get Joyce out there, I think was fun for the crowd. Uh, but as he develops, I truly feel like he's going to be kind of like Halvey and Tidwell. I mean, it's almost going to be like a picking up a free agent in the middle of the year because as he gets experience, um, he, he's going to be fun to watch. Tony, obviously, y'all can hit the long ball. I mean, you showed that last year. You showed that the first two days. I think the ball stayed in the yard today. The score 14 runs doing that. It's got to be a pretty good sign for the approach, right? Yeah, I mean, there were some competitive at bats where guys just kind of grinded their way on base. But I think the highlight of the day was there was multiple balls hit into the right center gap for right handed hitters. And then a couple times line missiles down the right field line. You got to be a really good hitter. Um, to, to hit a ball, you know, as a right-handed hitter sharply down the right field line on a line or vice versa for a lefty down the third base line. Um, so call it backside or oppo hitting, whatever. Uh, that was kind of the highlight of the day instead of home runs. I'll, I'll take it any way we can get it. What did you like about Evan behind the plate getting to finally see him in, in games and calling a game like that? Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, but I like Dickey behind the plate. He's kind of our third catcher as of right now. 
Chuck is probably everybody's favorite in that locker room. He does everything to a T, so I think he's going to be a reliable number two. But um, with Evan being able to play different positions and things like that, and, and we want to manage things, I mean, Jared Dickey is – proven now as of today that he's a legitimate backup catcher for us so I just like the trio as a whole um, I, I think in the fall when we went to Chattanooga everybody knew that Evan Russell was a legitimate catcher for us on top of the other things he brings to the table. Tony you said a few weeks ago Jordan Beck was from the bat some of the best you've ever seen is that what you saw from him here today? Yeah yeah after he got all that stuff out of his system in, in uh, game one uh, now he was just on a couple pitches he was just out in front of him because he was a little jumpy on game one and who doesn't want to do well, you know, right out of the gate? And, uh, you know, when he settled into his swing the last two days, it, it was fun to watch. And he's an advanced player, and I hate to say it, but he keeps kind of getting better. I mean, he's athletic and big enough um, that you can stay, he, say he's still kind of a ways away from a ceiling. Tony, how did you, you see the, the way the guys approach these couple midweek games? I know you got one in-state opponent who's going to come in, and one who's basically an in-state opponent. Y'all had a really big weekend. You to see how the guys respond the next couple of days? Yeah, a little bit, but it's, it's kind of time to turn the page. I mean, most Sunday games are going to be games where it kind of comes down to the last at-bat. And, uh, you know, we face a young pitching staff today, and we're fortunate enough it just kind of turned in our favor. Uh, but no, more times than not, that's a, that's a big-time challenge to turn the page from a Sunday and be ready to rock and roll on a Tuesday. Um, that gap in between there is something I think our players the last couple of years have managed well. For now, you know, this was one where our guys should turn the page pretty quickly and realize, um, you know, we were the better team today, and it's time to look forward to Tuesday and really a five-game week. I mean, I just talked about our guys on the bench dying to get out there and get action as a pitcher or a hitter. Well, we got a five-game week, so we're going to use a lot of guys during that week, and we need to make it a good one. A couple more. You good? All right, thanks, Coach. Sweet. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Have a good one.